Hey. Hey, can you hear me? Hajime, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, sorry, did you say something? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. <laughs> Have you guys been standing here for two hours? It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Uh. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. So, what are you gonna do? You're right. I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. Yeah, that's a great idea, I think. Oh! Well, I guess the elevator's been fixed? Hello? Huh? <laughs> um, uh, well, I, I think I'm just gonna... Chiaki! <laughs> uh, Why is he here? Uh... Uh, 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 okay, yeah. Yeah. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. <laughs> no shit. You showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Maybe. Maybe in addition to the elevator, there's a different way to move back and forth between the houses. Huh? Oh! That's it? O okay! Hey, answer me seriously. How were you able to come to this side? Mm. Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Sorry. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Hmm. Okay, ah, oh, okay, so... Okay, not like what I thought. I thought we would have to piece it together in the trial, but he's just giving it all to us now. Which is okay, that's fine. Would have been cool though, if it was like piecing it together. Well, I guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. Hey, Nagito didn't say anything about the room. But what was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Mm. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room! Huh? Masako. You did the life-threatening game? <laughs> it wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Eto... It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it toward you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Uh... Oh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fun if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monomi said. <laughs> if you use one bullet, you might actually die. <laughs> I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. <laughs> you only had one in six chance of surviving. Look at what he's doing! He's downplaying his uh, intelligence! We know! We know he didn't just say, Oops, I did it wrong! He, he knew! He knew exactly what he was doing! <sighs> but I'm still alive! After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am! What's wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal... He's crazy! That's all there is to it! <laughs> Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights... <laughs> ...was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. 
Oh! Oh, okay, so the hatch door. The hatch door, the, the trap door, the hatch. Must have led here, right? Hang on. Wait. Where did he come from? Did he walk into the lounge or did he like drop from the sky just now? Because we came in through the final dead room on the first floor of the strawberry house. And then there's a hatch. Hmm. Yeah, maybe... Is... Is strawberry house like somehow stacked on top of grape house? Is that what's going on? Huh. And then somehow the tower is being moved up and down or something. I don't know. Move back and forth? Where would you even be able to do that, and how? Uh, hey, Hajime. You've been repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. <laughs> Sometimes Nagito, like the, the commanding side, just leaks out, and uh, oh my god, it's so sexy. <laughs> And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That... is that the Future Foundation file? <laughs> yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There is even more detailed information about the Killing School Life that was in the earlier file. The Killing School Life... You mean the killings that took place at Hope's Peak Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people I don't even know. Hmm? Besides Byakuya, of course. Okay. Huh. Then it's just as I thought. That Byakuya was the Byakuya we knew, right? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. Wow, that was that was kind of a reveal. They just kind of spat it out. Okay. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Similarities? For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Oh, I didn't even make the... The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Yeah, there's definitely parallels here. <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. <laughs> What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. Wait, is he implying that these similarities are not just, um, just something for the player to pick up on in like a fourth wall breaking kind of sense? Do they have significance in the game world? But how could... Why would the people... It's not like they would have read the files and be like, Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna simulate the murders like this, like this, like that, okay? No, right? <sighs> I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. <sighs> what are you trying to say? <sighs> By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled as a suicide. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not, is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Hey, remember that Nagito discovered something that was shocking to even him, so... We don't know what his agenda is anymore, because we're not in his head. Jeez, your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Oh, no, no. Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal! <laughs> Indeed, it's the Hope's Peak Academy school crest. <laughs> Does that have information about our stolen memories? <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, 
just Hajime's information. Uh-oh, am I the traitor or am I not? Just mine? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Well, historically, Monokuma only tells us things when it causes a divide between us, right? So, I'm scared. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you're... Just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Oh, no, man. Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. Okay, are you gonna start treating me like shit because of this? The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope's Peak Academy's revenue stream. Oh, remember the the thing that Hajime remembered? Someone said something about his parents being rich or something. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? What is he saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. <laughs> Which means you're just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. Hey, so I'm on the same level as you, we're the same kind of trash. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? <sighs> Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire Hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy, like a fangirl following the latest trend. Hey, that sounds like you! It's not like that. I... <laughs> wanted to become Hope? If that's what you were thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. Ha. Huh. Again, what the hell happened to him to make him think this way? Something happened to make him think that effort is useless and that we are born with what we got and that's it that's why it's not even worth admiring or were you so blinded by your admiration for hope speak academy that you couldn't even see that <laughs> you're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with a nobody who forgot he was a nobody that's all then I... I'm just... <laughs> That's right! You were never an ultimate! You had no talent whatsoever! I... I... Don't have any talent. I'm just... An ordinary high school student? <sighs> oh, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, <laughs> there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Mm. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Mm. Hey, are you listening? Mata. There's no need for you to listen to this. Or... Huh? 
It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mechamaru's murder first. Yeah, you're right. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is gonna die together anyway. Hmm. Hmm, in that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Okay, the traitor? Are we assuming that the traitor uh, actually has more memories than everyone else? Or, like, does the traitor know they are the traitor? Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you've gone to the octagon, right? Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? Did you find out what it was? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtain there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Uh. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Uh. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I suppose I could tell you one little tidbit. You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name, ultimate weapon. Don't lie. There's no way that's possible. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Okay, we're gonna be treated like dirt from now on. <sighs> Fine, I understand. Now is not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? We better hurry. The class trial is gonna start soon. <laughs> You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. <laughs> then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> hey, Hajime. It's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Nekomaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now is not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomaru's case. Oh, it's kind of... It's hard. It's hard to focus. I can't focus. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, should we look at this clock? Why does this clock not have an alarm? All right. Wait, didn't we want to call over? Or are they coming over here now so we don't need to call them? Okay. Well, where haven't we looked though? I feel like we looked at almost everything already, really. Um, how about we look at the map? Maybe the elevator. Because they should be coming over here right about now, right? <laughs> I have returned from the depths of hell. It's Gundam. Ew. Sorry we're late. Tsugayo. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed that elevator. <laughs> See? It's just as I said, right? Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here! Mm. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Huh? Oh, that thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think this compass might be broken. I didn't ask for your opinion, just tell me the results. <laughs> huh? Well... Wait, I feel like he's starting to 
Treat all of us like dirt. The compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. Oh? Huh? The needle rotated 180 degrees? <laughs> I see. It's just as I thought. Huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? Well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? Sate. Now then, I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began making his way toward Grape Tower. What the hell's wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Yeah, I don't get the impression that he's very... F I mean, usually... He might be doing asshole actions, but overall his attitude... He was never really mean to anybody, but just now he was like telling Kazuichi to shut up and shit. That was kinda... Hmm. <laughs> I've made you wait! <laughs> the time has come to destroy all murderous illusions. Yeah, I don't know about you. Nah, nah. I guess Nagito is like a tardy detective. What are you talking about? Hora. It's a trope in mystery games. They always come to the crime scene late just to make an important discovery. Like Gumshoe? But they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Hmm. Well, in Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. Well, that's true. He's such a troublesome person. Well, lately, I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. You mean within the last five minutes? Yeah. Anone? I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. He might be able to find something we completely overlooked. Well, okay, so... The elevator rotated? Rotated? Okay, I'm really bad with the whole spatial shit, okay? I might have to go, like, draw it out later or something, but for the moment, I'm just gonna move on. Maybe I'll figure it out later. As soon as I came over here, I checked this first. It looks like the panel was definitely forced open. The elevator panel? Oh, um, it might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? No, I heard the gist of it from Nagito. They broke the elevator by tampering with the safety device, right? Oh, looks like word travels fast. Check out the panel over there. It's just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel and changed the settings by tampering with the safety device. It definitely looks like the panel was forced open. Which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Does it? It doesn't look that broken to me. <laughs> hey, I just repaired the elevator. Do you seriously want to ride it already? Mata. Well, let's do it later. Right now, it looks like Nagito is investigating Mekamaru's case. I'm definitely worried about what he's searching for. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out the rotate thing in my head, but I just can't see it. I need to draw it out later. Nekomaru, are you serious? Damn it, I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on. We need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. <laughs> no, you haven't. There is still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Eh, not sure how useful she would be here anyway. <laughs> but Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Oh, good thinking. Huh? Masaka. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? So screw with me! Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care what happened to Nekomaru. Why you? 
If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Oh shit, he's definitely acting weird. He's acting way different. <laughs> Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh... Sam it, fine. I just have to do it, right? I know I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Oh, no, no. Come on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but... It seems like that's not entirely the case. Definitely, but it's not like... It can't be the case that everybody here doesn't have a talent, right? Because they obviously have talents. His attitude toward everyone else is strange now, too. Hmm... Well, remember how when Mikan regained her memories, she turned out to be bad or something, right? So, by that line of thinking, the rest of us should be some degree of bad, too. In some shape or form. Remember how Monomi didn't want us to recover our memories because we might be bad or something. So, maybe... Maybe this something, this something bad is something that Nagito doesn't like. But why? I am terribly sorry, but I simply cannot investigate Nekomaru's body. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure it's painful for Kazuichi to do something like this too. We can't let this go to waste. We need to find something, no matter what. We need to find something, no matter what. The Monokuma file isn't useful at all. Every time we get one, the information is all half-assed. Hi, hi. Let me clarify. Don't get me wrong, but I'm sorry to say that I need you all to understand. No, no. You purposely didn't write anything specific enough to lead to the killer's identity on purpose, right? <laughs> Stole your line. I know now. If I wrote something like that, you'd be able to find out who the black end is. If that happens, the class trail won't get heated up. <laughs> then you shouldn't have prepared it in the first place. <laughs> you stupid little sister. You don't understand at all. Hey, Monomi. Glad to see you made it out of the final dead room. The number of fans who are eagerly waiting for the moment I present the Monokuma file. <laughs> is over 100,000. <laughs> 100,000 people? You're just trying to scam me with made-up numbers! It's not made up! I have proof, you know! Well, you wise guys should already know that! No, they shouldn't! Don't make me say it, it's embarrassing! I'm not! Why did they come here again? I should have kept my mouth shut. Now I'm just exhausted. Ugh. She's staring at Nekomaru's body with terrifying eyes. Hey! Blood's dripping from your fist! It's nothing. I was just holding back my anger and dug my nails into my palm. This is nothing. It doesn't hurt at all. Compared to Nekomaru. Akane. I'll never forgive the killer. I'll beat him up so bad, and they'll never walk again. Ah. Even mongrels like you possess a soul, and that soul resides in your heart. But no matter how hard you search the insides of this machine, you will never find a heart. So where did Nekomaru's soul wander off to? It's interesting to think about, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know about anything you're saying right now, Gundam. We've come so far. There's no way I can get sentimental at a time like this. I feel awful for Nekomaru, but this is necessary if we're going to find out the truth behind this case. As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth. Kazuichi faced Nekomaru, his eyes full of determination and began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. Huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. 
He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement park. So Negito did that too. It's like Negito has full control of the situation. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. His torso is covered in huge dents, and his parts are dislocated. Hmm, maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Not yet. Negito! <laughs> now is not the time to be staring into space. Don't make me repeat myself. Negito, what happened to you? I thought he was- Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, yep. Apparently, Kazuichi is finished disassembling Nekomaru's body. I should probably check it out one more time. See the clock right there. Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m.? So, this is the real accurate time. But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No way. This is a highly efficient radio clock! Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right! It's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> I have become a Time Lord! Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. Clearly they did. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again! There's nothing more useful than this! An accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case... Why does this broken clock say 7.30am? So, this is the real time. For some reason... 7.30? That's Tai Chi time, though. So when we arrived? But, but that is weird. That is weird. Because when we arrived, he was already dead and it was already 7.30. Huh. Hmm. That is weird. Because if he's dead before we came to Tai Chi, that would mean that everybody missed Tai Chi, right? When we came down here, it must be past 7.30 already. Monokuma did say that, uh, I believe he did say that, uh, if something big happens, which I think a murder qualifies under, then Tai Chi is cancelled, right? So, maybe that's why we didn't get punished for it, even though we came late. There's something protruding from the back of Nekomaru's neck, the button? Yup. Yeah, we see- we saw this already. And then, is there anything else we should be looking at? Yep, we've seen this too. Hmm. I guess that's it then, right? What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekomaru's body, and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. You okay, man? Jeez, this is the worst. Huh? You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. Whoa, his attitude. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. 
Is this a doorknob? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Don't you think it's strange? If we examine that far back door at Grape Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Now that you mention it, you're right. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. Behind us. It'll have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Well, it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out? How? We take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way we can see the other side of that door, right? But the button to open the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Yeah. Well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here! Whoa! Huh? <laughs> Just use Nekomaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Hold on. Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? <laughs> it's called recycling! It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? Junk? <laughs> well, Kazuichi, is it possible or is it impossible? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that at all. Oh! Seems like he's trying to tell us that that door, the chains are not important at all. Huh? I don't need to worry? What does that mean? <laughs> Kazuichi, we should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished! <laughs> Hajime, you're gonna come later too, right? It'll be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean... If there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Mm -hmm. So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. Ho ho! After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. Okay, you know how Nagito regularly perceives himself as being trash? I feel like he's seeing himself as the... The, the best person here right now, like everyone else is below him still. Or at least me and Kazuichi. Not sure about how he feels about the other people yet, but I suspect it might be something similar. Suffice it to uh. say, I have no idea what's going on here right now. In terms of the murder. What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm, who knows? Uh. That reminds me. Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? It had something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it can mean. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. But why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? Along with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. Maybe. Looks like that's all we can do. Let's head over.
You're right. What Nagito said about the door opening. What is he planning to do about the chain? It looks like it won't come off easily. So does Nagito have a plan or something? Jeez, I don't understand this at all. Me neither. Like, I feel... Mm, more than 50% confident. Wow, that's not... <laughs> that's not a really high percentage at all. But I feel very confident that um, Gundam is involved. So it's kind of a matter of seeing or figuring out how he did it. Rather than trying to figure out who the killer is. Can we go? Oh, everyone is here. Uh. What? Oh, I shouldn't have talked to you. As long as Kazuichi finishes his work, we should be able to open the door in Strawberry Hall. But there's still a chain, you know. If that's not removed, we won't be able to open the door. Yeah, that's right. That ba that Nagito bastard. What in the world is he thinking? Oh, okay. Okay, they're still here. Okay, cool. Onward to the land of the dead! Strawberry Tower! Yeah, man, whatever. Damn it. I, I can't do anything. I'm surprised she didn't throw a fit about Negito wanting to use Nekomaru for parts. I never paid him back. I can't even stop Nekomaru from being used as evidence. It's okay. He wouldn't blame you. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, no! I forgot about this thing completely. Ja, I even gave you five presents, too. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, you know what? Um, Yeah, that's too bad. That's okay, though. Uh, maybe I'll give the presents after it gets despair. How about that? So I don't waste any presents. That sucks. God damn it. She said, the difficulty level is high. Along with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of these mysteries. That is, if we can really enter from the other side. Nagito is in full control here. Nobody else has a clue. Except for the killer. Why would Nagito say such cruel things? <laughs> Nagito, we know, would not talk like that, right? Uh, well, you know, he has a previous bad track record of wanting to kill us, so... Wouldn't put it past him, but yes, he is acting weird. It is as if he is a different person altogether. Sonia's right. Nagito is definitely acting strange, but why? Well, obviously, it's because of what he saw. So, maybe we'll find that out during the trial, what he saw exactly. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator is working now. Alright, let's go. We walked into the elevator and made our way to Strawberry House. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. Yes. Hey, you're here. No, no. Kazuichi! How'd the repairs go? Kick, kick. Yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. You got a lot of nerve saying that when you use Nekomaru's parts without my permission. Oy, oy. Well, I mean, even so. <laughs> anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? <laughs> But there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. The door to Strawberry Hall behind Nekomaru's body was blocked off by that chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out. It's not even worth trying it out. That is not the... That, that's not something a detective should say, Akane. No, we've all come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Eh. Do we still gotta... 
I do not quite understand, but if it will satisfy Nagito, we should try it out at the very least. It's not even worth trying it out. Hajime, just hurry up and do it so Nagito shuts up. Uh, like, what, are, what kind of results are we expecting here? Will... Will the door open? It's a waste of time. The door won't open as long as the chain is on the other side. Hmm, maybe it's actually... I don't know. Well, we'll find out, we'll find out. There's no need for the Skyline Lamentation Art of the Demon Mouse. I shall let you fiends press the button. Okay, you must be pretty... Must be sweating bullets inside. Mm, Nagito seems really confident about it. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe he knows something. Maybe when we open it, then that- this door right here, the doorknob, will be missing. Cause that's what we think it comes from, right? Now then, can you hurry up and press the button already? Ooh, scary. Huh? Just so you all know, my repairs are perfect. If the door doesn't open, it's cause of that chain, you know? Well, the moment of truth. There's no way this door will open. Not when the other side is chained up. With a feeling of resignation, I pressed the button. Hmm. Oi, oi. Why did it open? Impossible! Where did the chain go? Mata. Hold on. That's not the only thing that's strange. Why is Nekomaru still on the other side? That's right, there's no other way to say it. This definitely looks strange. Okay, okay. The floor rotated 180 degrees. Huh. What do you mean, huh? No, no. Hey, doesn't this look all the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Nekomaru's body was in front of the far back door. Which means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. So if we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walk in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekomaru's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Boy, or. Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. The body isn't the only thing that moved, even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. They've all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Grape Hall. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. Obviously, we should stop looking at this picture because it's wrong. As if it all rotated 180 degrees, right? I can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but... Is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. A mystery so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. You know, I would love to say I know exactly how the buildings look like, but as I've said many times already, I am GARBAGE at spatial stuff. So don't look at me, don't look at me. Though thinking back about the hatch though, I feel like there's still a possibility that Strawberry House is somehow stacked on top of a uh, grape house. The chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, just as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought? Then you already knew about this mystery. <sighs> you have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? <laughs> that door at the far back with a picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there? There's a clue on the door? Well, the knob is not there. 
This is very interesting. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I feel it! Remnants of the winds of hell! How I've missed you! Yokaro. It appears that the netherworld is behind this occurrence. Fortunately for you humans. The portal created by the demon's power was too small. So it existed in this realm for only a brief second. But the portal's impact managed to dislodge the chain, and it was sucked into the portal as it closed shut. This is the truth behind the chain's disappearance. Yeah, we can't look behind us, so that kind of sucks. But if the houses are stacked, could it be that there's actually four different doors? Like, the tower is actually- the towers, the two towers, are actually one long cylinder. So maybe the killer actually messed up two different strawberry doors. Was it really okay to come here? Still, I'm starting to see the truth behind this case. I think... I wish she'd at least say things with a little bit more confidence. Well, you know, for people without confidence, that's... No confidence, no friends. Damn, actually, if you look at it like that, Chiaki is kinda... <laughs> hey, hey, hey! It opened! Why did Nekomaru move? Even the parts that carefully arranged all moved too! Which parts did you arrange? I have no clue. Why were we able to go inside the strawberry hall? This doesn't make any sense. Hey, where'd the chain go? I don't know either. What if the chain was rigged to automatically fall off when the door opened? Even if it automatically fell off, where did the chain disappear to? There wasn't anything in front of the door when it opened. Mm. It was sucked into the door, that's not possible, huh? Man, this definitely doesn't make any sense. The more and more typos, the further we go into the game. Yeah, I have a few ideas, but in my head right now, it's kinda like mix and match. I don't really know what's going on still, and the grape door... The doorknob... Well, since the doorknob came off off this door, right? It means that the door must be shut when the doorknob came off. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see the knob. So, the kill must have taken place when it was strawberry, not grape tower. Unless if stuff changed afterwards, I don't know. I might have figured out the reason behind the chain's disappearance. Seriously? Perhaps what made this incomprehensible phenomenon possible is the occult. Magic! Mind Freak! Huh? Mind Freak! I'm sorry, Sonia. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. Damn it! What the hell is going on? Where did the chain go? Not just that. It looks like Nagito totally predicted this. What does that mean? Yup, it's the door with the grapes. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? It's like the screws came out with it. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? The screws came out with it, right? Then the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came off of the door to Grape Hall. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? But what is it a clue to? Huh? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved, as if everything were linked together, if you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Ah, go to the room, go to the room! Even if I ask him that, Nagito probably won't give me an answer. So, it'll just be a waste of time to ask. I really don't think anyone besides Nagito will have time to go to the room though. Oh! Where are we going this time? Oh yeah, we can get out now, right? Because, you know, someone died. Oh, 
ダメだとわかってるけど眠くなるサボりたいな Just ditch! ふう最高潮に気分が乗らないけどお前らが裁判所に来たら本気出すよ今はめんどくさいから無理だけど後でちゃんと本気出すからよろしくね Looks like it's going to start another class trial. Oi, oi. But how are we supposed to get to the trial ground? So. You're right. We can't do anything unless we get out of this building.、Mm. Mm. Ano? Akane, did something happen? No, no. No, well, do you guys hear something? The train? Or the phone? Hear something? No, no. What do you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then, it suddenly appeared before us. Ah! Well, I mean, that's that's one way. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. Alright, I'm gonna go! Just hold on, Negomaru! I'll make sure I avenge you! Jeez, at least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. I agree! I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, do not go inside. How interesting! If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. <laughs> Now then, we shall get moving as well.、Mm. Yeah, you're right.、Uh... It's annoying, but if Miss Sonia is going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Huh! If you don't go, you're gonna die! <sighs> but it's so damn annoying! I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. The whole island is a trap! One by one, everyone went into Monokuma Rock. Until I was the only one left. And when I was about to take a step forward, <laughs> we're the same. The same step ladders. Huh? Nagito was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto Monokuma Rock. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. <sighs> you and I are just step ladders. For everyone who holds the title of ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying?、Uh... That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be the true hope. But it wasn't. There is no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? Hmm? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm gonna accept that. Oh well, it's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. There is this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery story. Huh? A novel? The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end. Surprise, surprise! The girl was actually the killer! Of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and the projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book I've never read before. 
Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but I know that you don't matter at all. So why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. In some ways, we're similar. But maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already. I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go. Everyone is waiting. Uh. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else? <laughs> Reserve Corps students are so full of themselves. <laughs> Nagito's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. Calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. Remember Chiaki's words. I took several deep breaths and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. Hey, don't step into Monokuma Rock just yet. We need to look at those truth bullets first. Okay, we're gonna do it right now then. Monokuma file number four. The victim is Nekomaru Nidai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems that they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of this body are damaged. Because of this, Many of his functions seem to have shut down. So, you know, even though right now I suspect Gundam the most, I don't... Why? What's the motive? And why is he doing such a... cruel thing? Wire. Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied with a metal wire. The tip of that wire was also tied in a loop. Good night button. A button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. When this button is pressed, all of Nekomaru's functions cease and he is forced to enter sleep mode. Oil on the floor. Oil that was flowing out of Nekomaru's body. The majority of it came from his fatal head wound. Like I'm reading all of this, but I'm having a pretty hard time seeing how it all ties together. Like obviously there's some element of... Uh, grape, grape tower changing into strawberry tower and sleep mode, but that, that's pretty much all I have. One of the pillars on the side of the door was tipped over. The damaged area of the pillar was also stained. It was so heavy that even two people couldn't budge it. And a new looking hammer. An enormous hammer found on the floor of the tower. It was completely clean, almost as if it was brand new. I think we can safely say that this is a red herring, right? It's not really related to anything. Maybe? Chain! Chain around the door at the back of Grape Tower. For some reason, the killer was able to enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. Yeah, not even for some reason, because we're able to do that too, but we have no idea how that worked out. Apparently, I kind of heard a rumbling noise at around 5.30 a.m. Yeah, this is... this is puzzling. Is it safe to assume that the rumbling noise is when Nekomaru died? Because that was 7.30, so someone put the clock back by two hours. Right? Is that what happened? But that means everyone is late for Tai Chi, right? Then wouldn't there be consequences? Or is there none because... Does Tai Chi start at 7 or 7.30? 7, right? Yeah, so if people didn't show up at 7, wouldn't Monokuma get mad already? Huh. Pillar fragments. A lot of small pieces of stone were scattered underneath Nekomaru's body. However, there were no fragments on top of his body. Okay, so this means that the pillar was downed before Nekomaru died. Maybe the rumbling noise wasn't when Nekomaru died. Maybe that's just when the pillar fell down. Obviously, the killer has taken some care into faking the time and everything, right? So I wonder if he timed Nekomaru's uh, unchangeable clock somehow too. Like he timed everything perfectly. Fuyuhiko's account. Apparently, Fuyuhiko saw Nekomaru walking toward the first floor at 5 a.m. Wall clock. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm of wall clock in the lounge in Strawberry House's second floor started going off. Fuyuhiko was at the lounge by coincidence and managed to stop the alarm, but Kazuichi and Gundam rushed to the lounge after being alerted by the sound. However, 
Nagito was apparently the only one who didn't hear it. Yeah, this is a huge clue that Gundam is involved, but honestly, if this was not here, I would have zero clue who to suspect. Contact elevator. The contact elevator used to move between the two houses was broken and no longer worked. It was apparently broken at Grape House side, so the last person to use it would have arrived at Grape House. Eh, well, does this even really matter anymore? Because we know that Negito has a way to move back and forth freely, right? So I don't think this matters that much. Strawberry Hall's button. Broken? Yup. Nagito's sudden appearance. Nagito was supposed to be at the strawberry side, but he appeared at the grape side via some unknown method. Kazuichi's account. Apparently, the compass needle turned 180 degrees inside the elevator. No clue. Clock's alarm timer. Nekomaru's clock says 7.30. Oh wait, there's a clock and an alarm, okay. The clock's arms are stopped at around 7.30, and the alarm was set to 7.30 as well. Okay. So, alarm is for waking up, right? Hmm. I wonder if uh, he didn't die until he woke up. Like, the moment he woke up, somehow the killer set a trap so that when he wakes up, he would die? Hmm. Radio clock. Nekumaru's clock is extremely precise and cannot be set. Broken doorknob. Found under the tipped over pillar. Screws at the base are pulled out, and there are some scratch marks on the knob itself. One of the doorknobs at the far back door of Strawberry House was missing, so this doorknob was originally attached to that door. Strange feeling in the tower. Regardless of whether you enter the tower from Grape Hall or Strawberry Hall, the placement of Nekomaru's body, the tipped over pillar, and the oil stains, even the disassembled parts that Kazuichi arranged, look exactly the same. Yeah, there's some sort of rotation work going on with the tower there. Hey, you know how the doorknob came off? Is it because it was tied to Nekomaru and then Nekomaru, I don't know, walked or something and pulled it out? But how would that- I don't know how that's related to anything though. Oh, and that is it. Well, I mean, I guess that's it then. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue. I think this might be the... This is honestly... I just know it's Gundam, okay? I don't know anything else. Yeah. When we come back, we'll see what happens then, okay? See you soon.